Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool talk is gonna be about the new Ideal lever locking wire connectors. Uh, back in my tool haul video a little while ago, I mentioned that I picked up these inline Wagos uh, as something new to me. I'm not sure how new that they are. But in that video, I mentioned that I don't know how long it's been, six, eight months, whatever it was, that I had remembered seeing something about Ideal coming out with some uh, lever connectors, but I hadn't heard anything about it since. Well, several of you commented to me and said that uh, you had seen them at Home Depot, so I went ahead and checked that out, and sure enough, they did have these there, so I went ahead and picked some up so I can try them out and see how they last or how they work and all those things like that. Uh, because I'm interested in that because Ideal is a brand that, you know, the box stores are going to carry around me, the electrical stores are going to carry, so there's a pretty good chance that I can go to the store and just pick these up. Uh, because there's times where I have to order these on Amazon. I think the only like box store that may carry them is Menards, and I don't have one of those local to me. Uh, but I, Home Depot and Lowe's doesn't carry those. None of my electrical stores carry these. So I was hoping to get something like this, and it was going to be identical. You know, that way if I needed some, I could just go to the store and buy some. Right now, I currently have to order them off Amazon, you know, as far as my way goes all the time. So I have to be prepared for that. So that's what I was looking at. But I thought since I picked these up, I've already got Wagos, been using those for a while. I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how they're similar, how they're different, because they are different, but they are much the same. So there might be some, the differences might push you in one direction or the other, just depends on what you do primarily. Uh, one of them may push you towards saying, I'm going to swap over to those ideals, and the other one might say, well, nope, I don't like those differences. I'm sticking with the Wagos. So let me go ahead and we'll get into it. We'll talk about, again, the similarities and differences. Then you can make up your mind and you can decide which one's going to work best for you. So let's talk about the similarities first. One is you got the same sizes no matter what brand it is that you're using. You see I've got three bags there because you've got the two port, the three port, and then also the five port. Same as you've always had with the way goes, whether it's the newer style, the 221s, you got the five, the three, and the two. Now, Wago does offer, like I said in that last video, some different things like inline and things like that, where right now, as far as I know, Ideal does not have those, but you can even go back to the old Wagos and you still get the five, the three, and the two. So that's the first similarity between the two of them is sizes are the same. Uh, they also will take both solid and stranded wire. That's the one big benefit to me of these is that you can take a stranded wire and that you can put that into that lever, lock that in place, and then you can swap over to a solid wire and do the same exact thing. Uh, so that, that's a whole lot easier to do that connection or a whole lot better connection in my opinion. It's not that it's necessarily easier, but there's a lot more that you can do wrong with a wire nut when you're trying to tie stranded into solid if you don't prep it right and get that ready before you uh, use that wire nut so much better to me that you can use solid and stranded and again that's with way goes and ideal so that's the same similar process right there that's the similarity between the two uh, that you have uh, they both do the same sizes uh, this one says on there from 24 to 12 and you'll see maybe if you can see that on the way go box or let me pull that up here uh actually that's 20 that's the inline connector so as far as your three to five ports they all do 24 to 12 as well so it takes the same sizes uh, so again as you're looking at it right now you're saying not a lot of difference between the two they are both reusable as well that's the last similarity kind of between the two uh, is that you can take a you can use this you know in a, in a fashion like for example this is what i do all the time is that I'll put in, say this is my, you know, light power feed coming in. I will take a temporary light thing like this and I will wire that up with Wagos on all three wires. Like I'd connect the blacks the same way here. I'd have temporary lighting and then it's just as easy for me now to come back and take out my temporary lighting and then wire in my new lights. I never have to untwist the wire. I never have to, you know, redo anything. It's a matter of, and I don't even have to turn off the circuit really at this point because I never remove the actual things that are hot uh, from the connectors themselves. They're always covered up and insulated and all those things. So the fact that they're reusable, because then at that point, even if I wanted to, I could take these off completely and then I can keep these and use them on something else. So that's a big benefit to these, the way goes, uh, whatever it is that you're looking at. So that's all the similarities of them, the sizes, 
as far as it's stranded in solid wire, both the same uh, amount of ports, and then they're also reusable. So now let's go ahead and talk about the differences, one being the cost. And it's really not that big of a difference on cost, but the only big thing about it is you can only buy these in a 10 pack right now. That's what each one of these bags is a 10 pack of two, a 10 pack of the three port and a 10 pack of the five port. The ideal two port is gonna cost you 758. So that's 75 cents a piece. And the way goes right now, as far as the two port, the one that I could find is $8 and 64 cents for a 10 pack. So it's actually a little bit more expensive. It's 85 cents but I never buy mine in 10 packs like this because once you go up into the bulk boxes of 100 or something like that, I think you might can get 100 of them for $30. So you're looking at around 30 cents a piece. That's a huge difference in price savings between these. So uh, the three pack is, or the three port is $8.48 for a 10 pack of Ideal. So 85 cents a piece. And right now on Amazon, you can get for the 10 pack $6.65. So 65 cents or 66 cents a piece for the three port. And then the ideal five port is 1098 and the way goes are 975. So again, both of them around a dollar. So as far as the 10 pack price, not a lot of difference between the two, but the way goes to me have the advantage on this because you can jump up and buy a bulk because you're probably gonna need more than 10 and that lets that price come down significantly. So maybe ideal is gonna come to that eventually. Maybe this is just how they're rolling it out to let people try them to see how they like them, see if they're going to get used. Uh, but I imagine surely they're going to come out with some bigger pack bags where you can get some kind of a cost savings. Now, the cheapest route to go is to buy the older style Wagos on Amazon. Amazon. These are a lot cheaper than those, and you can buy these in all kinds of different pieces. They run cheaper than the 221s, and they work well too. They're a little bit different, but again, I'll, I'll get into that when we talk about some of these other differences. But one of the differences is... The cost, not so much on the 10 pack, but the fact that you can get those Wagos for a lot cheaper when you buy in bulk. One of the next differences is that the Ideal have two places where you can test. So if you've got, you know, something wired up and you're wanting to check some things for continuity or whatever it is, and I'm going to put in two of the same, I'm just going to put in two wires here just to, or just one, we'll just put one. But let's say I wanted to check uh, this wire for continuity with something else. I can put my tester in right here on this side, but then this side also has a spot as well where you can put one. Whereas the way goes, you only have one port where you can do that, and it's inside of there. I don't know if I can get that picture. I doubt I can get to that, but basically this side here doesn't have anything like that. So you can only basically access that on this outside opposite of where you put the wires in, so it would basically be the same as just having this one. I don't know if that's a big big deal or not i can't imagine that it is as far as for me as far as making me just change my mind and say well i'm throwing all these out and getting these but maybe in your line of work maybe you do a whole lot of testing uh, with these in place and that would be really useful to you you've ran into some times where if you could get to it from one side or the other it made a big difference so that is a difference so just sharing that with you so that you know that that's there uh, the next thing and probably the biggest thing that you're going to notice is that the levers open in the opposite uh, direction. So with the Wago, with me putting the wire in, you can see I have to pull the wire or pull the lever back down towards the wire versus on the Ideal brand, you're going to put that in and the lever goes away from the wire. Uh, again, that could be a safety thing at some point in time with you putting wires in here and if if it's moving around on you and you're going to have to put your finger here to unclip it or who knows what but just to show you that that is a difference is that it's kind of opposite between the two so it's taken me a while every time i pick up the ideal one i'm wanting to have i've got it flipped around backwards every time because i've used these so much it's taken me a while to get the hang of the fact that they're backwards, but that's one difference between the two. So if you ran into situations where you're, you're like, man, I wish these way goes levers were the other way around. Well, here you go. You've got some, I've never ran into that where I've said to myself, that's been a problem for me. So that's not a, a deal breaker for me as well. So it's not, that's not a big thing. That's going to say, well, I'm changing to ideal because the levers go the opposite way, but maybe that's useful for you. Before we get into some more differences and I'm on the levers, let me go ahead and show you this is because the way goes, I've seen this in the comments a lot on videos where people talk about these, how they feel like they're loose, or I've read them in reviews actually, I think. 
Uh, see how that lever's like that? Well, it's still connected on that wire. It's still locked in place until you pull it all the way back, and then that's when it's loose, and you can reuse it, take it off, do whatever you need to do, release the wire. Uh, so since I, I know that's an issue for some people, the ideals, they do the same exact thing. So it's still loose, but you got to press it back and pull that off. So there's no difference between the two in that case either. So if this was an issue for you and you didn't like that, uh, the ideals are doing the same exact thing. So it's not going to be any different. But just wanted to show that to you guys before we get into the rest of these differences. So the two things that would cause me to pick a Wago over the ideal, I've got two differences for that. One is the size. As far as the width this way, they're pretty much identical. There's no difference whenever it comes to that right there. So your five ports is the same as five ports. But when you get into the thickness, it's significantly thicker. I would say maybe a quarter thicker, uh, if, if that. It, it's around that, but that could make the difference. Because to me, that's one of the advantages of the Wago is that it's a space saver. You're able to keep all your wires flat, push them into boxes. Now, there's not been many times where the extra size on the ideal would be like, nope, that's not going to work for me. Uh, but the fact that the Wagos are smaller and I can fit the same amount of wires in them and the same type of wires, and the levers all work the same uh, to me, and the price for the most part I can get cheaper. It's winning on all counts for me right there with those. So the, the size is one thing. Now, the size on this one is better than the old style way goes, but it's kind of comparable. It's not a lot different. So it's kind of the difference between this one and the old way goes. It's probably the same amount of difference between the thickness of the newer style way goes and the ideal. Uh, so again, if I'm going to pay for a thicker thing, a thicker lever lock, I might go with the old style uh, way goes and save me even more money at that point. Um, if I if space saving doesn't matter because that's why I buy these because they're cheaper and there's times where I run into where space isn't even an, an issue whatsoever uh, these are cheaper I actually kind of like the levers and stuff on these better so I keep those too uh, but size wise Wago wins in my opinion and then the other difference to me that's kind of a deal is that you can see hopefully I don't know how well you can that these aren't really like clear as they're more of like a translucent type uh, plastic versus the Wago is extremely clear. Like I can see, you can see even the orange levers through right there versus you can't see that blue whatsoever. And again, it's not a huge deal, but I can't necessarily tell whenever I put my wire inside of, and again, I got to flip that around backwards because that's what it is. I can't really look in there as clear and see exactly where my wire is sitting. So for all I know, I've got, you know, some insulation that's up inside of there being clamped instead of the wire. It's just, it's harder to tell. So you can't see near as well. Whereas with the Wago, uh, I can look in there and I can see exactly where my wire is. I can see that it's no insulation is up in there or maybe my wire, if my insulation was really close to being barely inside of there i might pull it back out clip a little bit off my wire and put it back in versus on that ideal i really don't know you know it's hard to see that uh, so again that's a big disadvantage to me of the ideal versus the wagos is the fact that the wagos are extremely clear and the ideals are a little bit of a translucent type color uh, so i think that that doesn't really work near as well so then the last and final difference to me and this would be one that might push you towards ideal over a Wago. Uh, even though it doesn't say this anywhere on the package that you can do this, but it does say this on a video that you can watch on homedepot.com if you want to, or you could probably go to their website. If you work 100% with solid wire or primarily with solid wire, you can take your lever lock and you never have to even open the levers whatsoever on install. You can just take that solid wire and push it straight in and it goes in and it locks it in place and then to release it you just lift the lever and then you can pull it out and it's still reusable at that point because that's something that you cannot do with the way it goes you can't push a solid wire in this only works with solid wire you can't do it with stranded wire but i can take a solid wire and i can press on that way go really really hard and i can get it to do it but it doesn't necessarily want to. Uh, and I don't know that you can. I haven't read anywhere that you can. And like I said, their packaging doesn't say that you can, 
but their videos say that you can. So that's what made me attempt to try it. Uh, if you take a Wago and you press crazy hard, you can get it in there, but it almost feels like to me like I'm doing something that I shouldn't do. But on the ideal, uh, it, it just goes right in there. It's almost like a push connect. That's what it feels like to me. So that's kind of, it's kind of a mix. It's a push connect for solid wire with the option to easily be able to release it. So that's kind of the difference to me uh, is that these are intended to do that. Can you push one in a way go? Sure. I'm not positive that you can, so don't go following my example on either one of these, really, because like I said, the package doesn't say it, but Ideal's video does. But that's the Ideal uh, lever insure, lever lock. Uh, again, they got two port, five port, and three port. I've only seen them at Home Depot. You guys let me know in the comments below if you've seen them anywhere else or if you know another brand that's good besides Wago and Ideal, but that is also you know, rated and everything and, and good to use and all that because there's all kinds of stuff out there that, you know, brands of these especially, you can get on Amazon tons and tons of different names of these that I don't know if they're any good or not. I, I only buy Wago, pretty much. They have to say that on that. So let me know in the comments below if you use Wagos or if you've been using Ideal Insures for a while or whatever. I don't, again, I don't know how long they've came out. I do know they're new. I don't know how long they've been at Home Depot. I typically don't go back and look at wire nuts at Home Depot, so they, they might have been back there uh, for a long time. But hope this was useful in some way. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below. But you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.